Mike, it's an honor to stand up here for 17 years and to send these drivers off on a 600-mile journey on Memorial Day. And so for all those fallen heroes, this one is for you. Boogity, boogity, boogity! Let's go racing, drivers! Lap one, Kyle Busch from the high side, Harvick on the bottom. Dead heat. Dead heat. <laughs> that was, that was, I never saw that, I think. Nope. Scoring says Harvick by two one hundredths of a second. Yeah, we heard Martin Truex Jr. talk about how it was a little bit greasy in that compound traction uh, that they put out there and uh, the traction compound. But we saw some drivers like the 18 of Kyle Busch really stuff it to the outside there, and it stuck. Yeah, Jeff, I have not seen an issue. I thought we'd see cars getting in that stuff early on, slipping and sliding. But right now, it looks like there's a ton of grip in that high groove. Jeffrey Earnhardt down on the apron past the start finish line. A lot of smoke. And we were told it smelled like rear end grease. Caution. Oh, trouble. There's oil everywhere. I think there's oil from the 33. Man, it took and out some good cars. Brad Keselowski's car is destroyed. Chase Elliott. And Chase Elliott. What a... What started out to be a routine caution for fluid on the track. Oh, my Heavy damage to I'm Chase I'm pretty sure Elliott's that's oil from that 33 car, because those Had cars just went crazy. Had to be. There had been some smoke from oh, Earnhardt's yeah, car, but right then there. it got big. Okay, so that's off of turn four. He comes all the way down the front straightaway. Now the wreck's already happened. Oh, I. Oh, oh no, gosh. something happened to uh, Chase Elliott. He may have blown up. There was huge fire underneath the hood of that car. I that's think the a, oil may have wow. come from the 24. Or uh, certainly, we know that there was fire and fluid underneath the 24. Wow, I'm not sure what happened. Look, Look at all at, the fire. Look under here. Oh man, that thing grenaded. Well, unbelievable. Coming back to green, Harvick on the outside, Kyle Busch on the inside, Blaney and Kenseth in row two. Then Jimmy Johnson, who like Truex, just snuck through there, stacking them up midfield. And we're three wide with Dale Earnhardt Jr. up top. Newman phone right along. Both those guys like to work the top side. Ricky Stenhouse has already been in for four good years and the tank of Sunoco race fuel. Here comes Martin Truex and more. On to pit road as Kyle Busch goes for the lead and is not quite. Man, what a battle Man. between these guys. Kevin does not want to give this lead up. I tell you, guy's going to pass them both. They don't account is that Matt Kenton had 20 car. He's going to go right by. Kyle Busch in turn three with a 1.2 second lead on Martin Truex coming around turn number four and Kyle Busch will be the winner of stage one. The first time the Coca-Cola 600 has been contested in stages. Here we go. And again, Harvick takes advantage of that number one pit stall gets off first. But boy, what a restart by Mark Truex Jr. I think they got the old 78 car tuned up like she was last year based on what we saw at the end of that stage and the start of this one. Boy, they're three wide further back. You know, Harvey took oh, the outside. Oh, Blaney. Oh, what happened? Blaney almost got turned by Clint Boyer in the 14. I don't know if wow. he meant to jump down there in front of him, and then they made a little bit of contact and he got loose. Great job by both of them hanging on to it. Now, we've been caution free in stage number two so far. Uh, Kevin Harvick, after making that green flag stop, has now moved up into the free pass position as David Reagan makes a stop. And caution is out. 
Matt Got DiBenedetto the the finds his way into the wall in turn two, and Kevin Harvick, being the first car one lap down, is going to get his lap back. Benedetto was 26. Pretty hard lick. There'll be 47 laps to go in stage two. Green flag. There goes Truex. Well, I believe the 48 could if he could keep up with him <laughs> on a restart. <laughs> That was a great restart by Martin Tricks. Man, he got a huge lead. We know that that outside groove is a little bit harder to get traction with the rear tires, but Martin Tricks Jr., it's like he's got another gears. Look at Kyle Busch going three wide. Right down to the bottom. First lap. I think coming to the end of the stage, maybe let your guard down just a little bit. Maybe Truex just backed off a little bit, getting to the end of this stage, not worried about Johnson. Johnson sees an opportunity to maybe pounce. So uh, it could be close right here at the end of this stage. Yeah, they also came up on some lap traffic that may have played a role. Johnson has not won a stage this year, and Martin Truex gets his sixth stage win and leads the league in playoff points. Coming to green, stage three, and look at Truex go. Johnson got, he did not get going at all. Nobody, he's going to get rewided right here. I don't know if Jimmy spun the tires or the car didn't go, but he just not, he didn't accelerate it. And man, it almost caused a big mess. Yeah, that outside line, I mean, especially when the 78 takes off the way he takes off, you're trying to anticipate it. And it just seems like he's really spinning the tires on those restarts. Johnson coming back on the outside against Kurt Busch, who has to make a sharp left turn to keep from getting into Jimmy out of turn four. Yeah, Johnson almost in the wall off turn four right there with Kurt Busch right up under him. That was close. Uh-oh. Kyle Larson in the wall, turn two. I think that right, right front. might do it for him. Well, that right front tire, I know when he hit the wall earlier, it had a bunch of camber in there, and I think it probably just finally got to that tire. It's going to destroy that car. Now, the stage will end in eight laps. NASCAR has said if they can get the track clear and the cars lined up, to run even one lap under green before stage end, they'll do it. The leader, Stenhouse, will restart this race. He's on the pedal, flags in the air. Whoa. That's definitely going to hurt Mark Church Jr. I, I mean, I know Stenhouse didn't get a good start as uh, also, but. Boy, that really held up Mark Truex with some of the restarts we've seen him getting recently. Teammates, one, two, three for Joe Gibbs Racing. Hamlin, Kyle Busch, and Kenseth were on the last lap of stage three. And then two more teammates, the 78 and 77. So five Toyotas in the top five right here, racing for the winner of this stage. Kurt Busch, the first Ford in sixth. Dale Earnhardt Jr., the first Chevrolet in ninth. Here they come to the green and white tablecloth. Stage three, Denny Hamlin, your stage winner. His second stage win of the season over Kyle Busch, Kenseth Truex Jones, the top five. made a great move to get around Hamlin just before he slid up the hill it would almost came together that thing is a restart rocket ship yes it is we're about to find out just how good Mark Truex Jr. is if he can go up there and get by the 18 of Kyle Busch I will be impressed well, trouble turn three guys car up in the wall and that car is coming down off the banking to caution it is Danica Patrick yeah, I think that uh, started again, just going into turn three, and the car just all of a sudden went up the hill and didn't turn. Patrick brought out the caution in a similar fashion back at lap 175. Here we are at lap 329. He's running 23rd, two laps down. 
can see that right front is down. Probably, I don't know if she got in the wall first or if that fender cut the right front. Then she got in the wall. I, I think it's very similar to what happened uh, last, last time, uh, Jeff. She went in the third turn. The car just started up the hill and just kept on going like the tire was down. You can see the right front dragging pretty hard right there. Look at them just take off. From yeah, those two cars are just, I mean, Jeff, all night long, they have had the best restarts. Oh, Trex got him. Bye-bye. Nice job by uh, Kurt Busch to slide into third. Fourth side by side. Kems up on the bottom is going to prevail there. Boy, I'll tell you what, that 41 car of Kurt Busch, he's all over the back of his brother right here now trying to get by. I noticed this on the last restart. He's really good for about four or five laps. Drives really hard into the corners, can, can stay with cars, but he does start to fade after a few laps. 20 laps to go in Charlotte. 30 miles out of 600 left to race. Jimmy Johnson. Up three and a half seconds on Austin Dillon, who with Joey Logano, Ryan Newman, and Chris Buescher trying to not stop and stretch the fuel mileage, but for different reasons. Johnson has wins in the bank. Nothing to lose. He's not the fastest car tonight, so if they made that pit stop at lap 368 with everybody else, he likely wouldn't win. Now he's got a chance. Austin Dillon's never won a cup race. He stayed out. Trying to win his first one. Jimmy Johnson has two issues. Do I have enough gas to get to the finish? And do I have enough to, time to get there in front of Martin Truex? And he went a little bit faster that last lap, so he used a little bit more fuel. Joey Logano's giving it up. He's coming to pit road for fuel. So that leaves Johnson and Dillon in first and second, Newman in seventh, Menard in 12th of the drivers who did not stop at lap 368. I mean, if you're Johnson, you say, hey, if I win, great. If I don't, I've got to win. So I'm in good. He, he wins. It's a win-win for him. Here comes Truex and Kyle Busch chasing the lead. Two to go. Yeah, run out. He's out. He's out. Bring around here. We'll give you a little Austin Dillon, the new leader, as Jimmy Johnson is out of gas. Breeze going to make it. Richard Childress's grandson trying to return the three to NASCAR victory lane. Tell you what, if he can just make it, if he can make it a turn three and four, he can coast. Now Kyle Busch just went to the outside of the 78 to take over second place. If Ooh, he yeah. runs out of fuel, he'll be the winner. Oh, that three's got it made. He's down on the bottom, coming around turns three and four. Here but he he's got to get there. On fumes, Austin Dillon wins at Charlotte for Richard Childress Racing, Dow and Chevrolet. And look at the crew chief, Justin Alexander, gets swarmed by his crew. <laughs> I know him by Deuce, because he used to work at Hendrick Motorsports. So congrats, Deuce. Congrats, oh, yeah, Austin. Austin. Yeah! I can't imagine victory being any sweeter than this one tonight. The three is back in victory lane, your first cup win. How do you describe the emotions, Austin, with this win tonight? It hadn't sunk in, man. Uh, I can't believe it. I, I was just really focused those last laps, and my fiance wrote in the car, uh, when you keep God in first place, he will take you places you never imagined. And uh, never imagined to be here, Coke 600 victory lane, and I'm just, uh, Praise the Lord and all these guys that work so hard. My pit crew is the best on pit road, and I just I love it for them. We're in the chase, baby. It's awesome.